You might have heard about Tulum in Mexico, but have you seen the underground lagoon that you can swim in? It's crazy. That's what we do during the sneak preview of our Mexico episode where we explore the importance of knowing our roots. Enjoy! When I created Global Child, I saw that people were traveling but without a purpose. What we do during every one of our episodes is that we teach a life lesson. Everywhere we go, there's something to learn and there's something to share. So we're so grateful that you're spending time watching our show. Go to Amazon Prime right now to see the full episodes. Follow us on Instagram at Global Child TV for a chance to travel the world with us. Our Mexico adventure, exploring our roots, took us from Aztec territory to quite possibly the most beautiful beaches in the world. Tulum. Tulum is located a mere hour and a half away from Cancun and right next door to Playa del Carmen. They share the same turquoise Caribbean coastline and incredible white sand and the second longest barrier reef in the world. This area is as safe as it gets. And many choose Tulum because it's basically a beach lover's fashionable, wellness-minded, cool, hipster nature paradise. I feel like you guys know what a beautiful beach is. I mean, what a beach is. But that's not all Tulum has to offer. So we're going to show you a couple of amazing activities. After getting a great tan, Karina and I decided to go explore the roots of this place, quite literally underground. The Yucatan Peninsula has thousands of freshwater sinkholes formed millions of years ago, many of them recently discovered, but visited regularly by the ancient Mayas. Time to explore some ancient caves known as cenotes. So today I'm here with Paco. Thank you, Paco, so much for taking us on this amazing tour. Amazing. And so what are we going to see today? Today we're going to see the Mayan underworld. Uh, we're going to go see one of the most beautiful wonders in all of nature. Karim couldn't wait to start. What's your favorite thing about showing people cenotes? For me, doing this is like to tell everybody that it's really important to keep this the way it is mm -hmm. for the next generations, you know? Awareness about Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing. Hopefully you'll discover something beautiful with us today, so let's go see it. Cenotes are magical water holes made of limestone and they're part of cave systems filled with fresh water. Purest water in the world. Wow, look at the color. The water comes from filtered rain making its way to the ocean through this underground maze that goes on for miles. I've been here for many years and I see the place in many ways. And it's breathing, it's alive. So we must take care of this, you know? Is this drinkable water? Yes, it's drinkable. This tree soft water out. So that's how the, the rest of the forest handle the dry season thanks for this tree wow. to give water to everyone. So it's already make a cycle. Life is the same for us. Okay? We live in a cycle of life. We come from the spirit world, a few winters here and then we go back to the spirit world. This place is absolutely unbelievable and not many people in the world have ever seen this. Because in Paco we trust to come on. <laughs> if, Mom, if you don't see me again, it was Paco. <laughs> Paco told us about his Mayan heritage. Why do you think is the importance of knowing your roots? If you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. Simple of that. So it's very important to keep the culture of my roots. The water is amazing. Like I literally want to do the whole thing like swimming. <laughs> the caves were large, the air was fresh, it was beautiful. Look at the color of the water. I think it's the clearest water I've ever seen. It's like you're walking through liquid glass. Karine's favorite part was the stalactites. The Mayans used to consider caves the entrance to the underworld or the afterlife. And they believed that they had nine different tests they had to pass before they could reach paradise. And the first one was going through the darkness, which is uh, these caves. Fortunately, we have flashlights, so we're good. <laughs> the Mayans love nature and metaphors. Walking in the dark had reminded me that sometimes a little bit of light makes all the difference. Every great experience starts with a journey and ends with a reward. After an hour of exploring, this Mayan underworld tour brought us here to this beautiful underground lagoon. Time to make a memory of a lifetime and plunge into the moment. 
The amazing thing about going deep in search of our roots is that often what we think are places that were lost in the dark can suddenly be full of color and wisdom if we put in the effort to see them in a better light. This is a Mayan underworld. Wow. Speechless. I don't need to say anything. You get to swim in a cave like this, that's a once in a lifetime experience. Paco? This is my office. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Some of the most beautiful colors you can only discover with light. And I have a theory that whoever created this just kind of put little beautiful secrets for us to find. I've traveled so much and this is, I would say, one of the most beautiful things I've seen. This is the beauty of Mexico, seriously. Finding places like this. It's an experience. For me, one of the favorite things to do in life is to experience the world. Mexico is such a beautiful country. The more I explore, the more I'm falling in love with it. And uh, you know, one of the advantages of going with uh, an amazing uh, tour company is because you know, they've gone all over the world finding out what the most incredible experiences are. Mm -hmm. And then they help you and they take you there because these are not places you're usually going to discover by yourself. Yeah. This is Mexico. <laughs> The Mayan underworld had been incredible. I never imagined that so much beauty could be hidden below the surface. Thanks to Paco, I was developing even more appreciation for the Mayan culture and their cultural heritage. After being surrounded by nature, we decided to keep it going at a very unique eco hotel built on, you guessed it, a cenote. This is Manglex. So this is an amazing room because you are literally in the middle of nature. There's a couple cabins and you're on top of the mangrove. And I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sneak preview of season two. Be sure to see the rest of season one on Amazon Prime and follow us on Instagram at Global Child TV for a chance to win a trip to somewhere exotic around the world with us. Shoot us a DM. I want to know what you thought about the show, what you think we should film and who you are. Who knows? Maybe we can meet up somewhere in the world. Thanks for joining. See you later.